I'm impressed. I expected Ash. Ash is here too. He's inside me, lending me his strength. Second order hyper resonance. You've surpassed your original. You are now a true human being. You've stepped across a sea of corpses and made it here. Now, join me, Luke. We will destroy the planet's memory and overturn the score of final judgment. No. Well, well. Why not? I finally understand what it is I wanted. I wanted you to acknowledge me. To accept me as a human being, not a replica. Yes. And you have become a human being. But that's not enough. You said to me, can you not live unless you were born for some purpose? I'm not living for anyone else. There's no special meaning in living. When I sensed my own death, I wanted to live. I know now. That's all I needed. So, I don't need you anymore. It doesn't matter if you accept me or not. Here I am, alive! <laughs> You've acquired some impudent wisdom. Van, people can change just as Luke has. Reconsider one more time. The planet's memory may exist just as you say, but is it really absolute? Luke isn't here because it's written. He's here because he chooses to be. The planet's memory is one possible choice for a future, but only people make that choice. That isn't absolute either. You might not be choosing, but rather being made to choose. If so, maybe you're being made to choose to destroy the planet's memory. If you say you've decided to erase the planet's memory of your own will, then that itself is proof that the planet's memory isn't absolute. That's an empty argument. Yulia's score represents the planet's memory I speak of. The destruction of mankind is written in it. The destruction of the planet's memory is not. So you will carry out that destruction with the originals, then create a replica world. That's no different than those who let Hod be destroyed. That's why Ash rejected you. Didn't you resent the destruction of Hod and despise those who caused it? I did. But I must do whatever it takes to destroy the absolute path of the planet's memory. It's strange to hear that from such a wise man. People and planets all eventually die. Regardless of whether the planet has a memory or not, that alone is guaranteed. Even if the absolute path you speak of exists, people have the right to choose their own path to destruction. Fitting words for a necromancer. Everything dies. It's merely a matter of time. But the planet's memory calls for it too soon. I cannot accept perishing early the way you can. But you're trying to destroy the originals even earlier than the planet's memory. You hate the score so much, you're shackled to it more than anyone else. <laughs> Perhaps so. I... No, all of us are bound to the future we call the score. We believe we can choose our future. I know the future is predetermined. As I thought, it would seem we cannot see eye to eye. Draw your weapons. I'll take you all on at once. Van, prepare. Destroy Imperial Slaughter! Wanna see how 
strong, I really am. The phonic hymns. Their melody will indeed awaken Lorelei. But you don't know the true wish contained in those hymns. They won't work on me. No, brother. I do know. I can feel the thoughts and emotions Yulia placed in these hymns. If that's true, Mysteria, then sing. Now, for me. Die! Too slow. Ah! Have you forgotten? I'm the one who taught you the sword. Release Lorelei! You've grown strong. Van. To think you could push me this far. It seems I have no choice but to unleash this terrible power within me. This force! So this is the power of Lorelei! So... He's finally used it, but I will be victorious! You have strong allies, Luke. They've supported me through everything. For their sake, I can't lose. No. For my own existence, I will not lose! When you use Lorelei's power, your control over Lorelei weakens. Luke recognized that and forced you to use it. The same Luke you refused to acknowledge for so long. Luke will not... No, we will not lose! I commend you for making me use this power. I would expect no less from my student. But that too ends now. Take 
Control within Van. It's drawing in our phonons. At this rate, our life itself will be drained. No! Luke, the second order hyper resonance. It can neutralize any phonon. I'm going to free Lorelei. Tear, help me! Right. <laughs> Oh, 
The seventh melody. You've learned it, dear. I remembered. You sang it to me while I cried. You knew what the phonic hymn meant. You were telling me everything, right from the start. Thank you, Van. Farewell, Mysterica. Master Van! Stop! After all that's happened, you still call me Master. You fool. Forgive me, my brethren. Master Van, thank you. Goodbye, my beloved brother. All right. Everybody hurry up and escape. I'll stay here and free Lorelei. Luke! It's my promise to Lorelei. This is what I need to do. Jade? Luke, how you've changed. I was really bad, wasn't I? But no matter how much you change or regret your actions, not all of what you've done will be forgiven. And that's why you must come back alive. Rather, I hope you do. Jade, shut up. Sorry. I'll be waiting. It's lonely being a servant without a master. Hey, you're not my servant anymore. So I'm not a servant in the manor. I'd still serve as your friend. You're being stupid. So hurry back home. I'll never forgive you if you just disappear. You knew, huh? When you come home, I'm gonna teach you not to hide things from your friends. Annis? I knew too. I wasn't as sure as Guy, but... What are you talking about? <laughs> You're an easy read. But I have to have you come back alive. You're not expecting me to... We're not... No, no. I'm going to reform the order for Ion. But in order to do that, I need a patron, so come home. Whatever. Luke, live, please. I don't want to lose any more people dear to me. Natalia. Not to protect Kim Laska, to live your life, understand? I wanted to live. You will. You cannot disappear. You cannot. Thanks. Master! Your job's done now. Go home, and be proud of what you did. I'll be waiting for your return, Master! Thanks. Come home! Tear. You have to come home! You have to! I'll be waiting. Always. I will. I promise. I'll come home. Luke, I love you.